What is up, people? I put up a new video essay yesterday, and that means it is time to get... Oh, well, where's my footage? I put up a new video essay yesterday, and that means it is time to get footage for the next one. Uh, so, on my Patreon poll, we vote for video topics, and Scattered and Lost from Celeste won. So we are going to get... Oh! Apparently I was on stage 5. Uh, that's gonna be a return to map. I don't have much of a... Ooh. That's funny, because I probably last played this game in like 2019, so... Kind of funny to see the consequences of my actions. Um... I think I'm gonna start with the prologue, just because I know that I'm going to want some footage for it. Oh, come on. Just getting some B-roll. I love the soundtrack for this game. I will often listen to it while I'm driving in my car. And I will often cry while listening to it while driving in my car. Especially, um... Oh, I'm blanking on the name for it now, but it's the, uh, it's, it's the, the boss battle, essentially. I don't quite remember how to play the game, but it'll come back, I'm sure. I forgot that you don't start with the, uh, the double jump unlocked. You, you have to... Play through the, uh... Eh. Play through the prologue to get it. Yay! There is nothing up here. Anymore, I, I assume there used to be. It's been so long since I last played this cave, you guys. I'll be honest. The main reason I'm doing the prologue is because... Uh, I need the tutorial messages. I adore the... <sighs> Voice acting isn't the right word. I think it's all synth. But it's adorable. Madeline's voice is my absolute favorite. <laughs> Why did I ever stop playing this game? This is the only game anybody needs. <laughs> the little panting animation. Yay, we did it! We we beat the prologue! Ah, oh, that was a toughie. Okay, we're gonna skip ahead to chapter three. And we'll just start from the beginning. I need to... Uh, turn off all the sounds. Much as I love them. But a big part of the purpose of this stream is to have more, uh, more footage of the, uh, of, what am I trying to say? I want a more complete version of Scattered and Lost than what is available on the soundtrack. So once it starts playing in the game, I'm going to want to uh, just stand still awkwardly while it loops all the way around. Meant to do that. Don't judge me too harshly, it's actually been years since I played this game. Or judge me harshly, I'm not your mom.
What's it like to remember how to do things? Oddly empty without sounds. Please wing for service. Gross. I actually, I do want the sound effects of him appearing. I'll have to go through this part a second time. Because that's just a, it's such a fun moment. What a cute, crazy old man. Oh, fun fact. Uh, apparently, originally in the Japanese translation of this game, uh, the, the translator was not a native Japanese speaker, and there's one point where Theo calls him like a crazy old man or something, and in the Japanese translation, they originally used a slur there, Oops. I'm pretty sure it's been patched out now. He's so fucking pushy. That's what's the most heartbreaking to me, is that this inn really used to be something. Ow. Oh. Just because I didn't look where I was going? Rude. Ah. This game is not like riding a bike. You do forget how to play. Eh. You do forget how to play it if you stop. Clearly. Man, this is the beginning of the level. If this is happening now, how am I ever gonna get past the parts that I need to get past? Uh. Hi, Clint. Content creating secrets. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It looks so fancy and- Oh, fuck me, I did that three times in a row. It looks so fancy in the final cut, just- Oh yes, he magically has this ability to get whatever music he wants from his mysterious sources. Nah, fam. Just play video games with the sound effects off. I think it's interesting that not only do these red hazards not show up until uh, chapter 3, but I don't think they really show up at any other point. It seems like such a core element of platformers to have some kind of moving or floating hazard and not a big thing here. To be honest, hadn't even considered that. I thought you'd get the Spotify track like the rest of us, please. I would. In fact, I do some of the time. Uh, I did that for Haiti. Uh, a lot of Hades, not all of it. But the sound, of, the soundtrack versions of pieces nearly always leave out part of the gameplay loop. It, well, it, that is if the, if the track is different, like has different phases in the actual game. And let me think, everything except the Genshin Impact track I talked about. Genshin Impact doesn't have changing tracks. It just has a lot of similar tracks that have short run times. Uh, so I just use Spotify for that video. 
but otherwise yeah i've i've captured directly from the game so that i can get the full versions and i still don't know how you manage to isolate voices for your sheet music magic um i don't i either use a recording that already exists or if I need to like actually play something separately. I just use a MIDI piano. Same way that I would write music for like your podcast, for example. Not podcast, uh, radio play. Not radio play. What it what would you call overlap, Clint? too slow. It's nice that I already got all these strawberries, don't have to w uh. It's nice that I got all these strawberries already, don't have to worry about it. I will read what you said in just a minute, I am preoccupied. There we go. I was hanging out with someone who works in music copywriting actually, and he was wondering the same thing. <laughs> it, th here's the thing, overlapped Oh, sorry. Overlap is a radio play. It's a full film that can be claimed for $65. No, I, I consider Overlap to be a radio play. It's just that that genre is essentially... Not that genre. That medium is essentially dead. And so if you call it a radio play, people are going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? You mean that stuff from like the 30s? And like, yeah, kind of, but you know, hip and modern and sci-fi, so it's fine. What? That was close. Actually, no, there was a platform right there. Oh, okay. I'm sure I felt for that uh, multiple times before. Hey! Ho! Oh, I don't know why I thought that would work. Yeah, that stuff from the 30s. Charleston out of the room. Hey! You wanna come by my place? Have a cigarette? Fuck me. Fuck me. Uh, oh my god. I forgot how quickly this game becomes hard. I was thinking like, ah, chapter three out of what, seven? This'll be a breeze. How naive I was. Man. The person was Lisa, FYI. Could have saved lots of text. How was your trip, by the way? I don't think I've spoken to you since you got back. Sure will be fun when we actually start hearing the track that this next video is supposed to be about. I even have the option to skip ahead, don't I? But it's all good B-roll. It's all good B-roll. No! Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have never been to that state. I will not name it for privacy reasons, but you may feel free to. So I don't actually know what it's like there. For all I know, you don't either. It was mostly a a friend trip, not a sightseeing trip. Yay! Progress! Yay! Stop! I mean, they're the ones not moving. It's, 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 it's rude of me to say stop. 
I meant to do that. We played four or five games, went to at least six bars, and went hiking for two hours longer than I was prepared to. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like an amazing trip, truly. Wow. Ha, easy peasy. It was a two hour. <laughs> I love that. I know everybody in Los Angeles says this, but I really do like hiking. I just never do it. But that's not because I don't like it. It's because I never leave my apartment. Miss Madeline, I really must implore you to keep up. Mr. Oshiro's character is really so pitiful. Feel bad for him. Theo and Madeline come in. Madeline doesn't even want to stay, and he's like, Ah, oh, yes! Business is picking up! That's how I feel about my channel whenever I get any subscriber. I'm so close! I just need a few more to uh, start getting ad revenue. I'm excited. The last video is growing at a really good pace. Alright. Scattered and Lost is about to start playing. I think it starts as soon as I get to Mr. O... I think it starts as soon as I get to Mr. Oshiro. There was a great neighborhood that I'd say you should definitely check out if you go. Five points, because five streets meet at once. Hmm. I don't think I've ever considered a neighborhood to be a, a tourist trap before. Drink some water real quick. It just stops floating abruptly. At one point, a pizza place. At another point, swing dancing. Third point, bar board game bar cafe. The other two points, a mystery. Well, those are a pretty good first three. I don't, I don't know if, um, I don't know if it can get better than that. Board game, swing dancing, and pizza. God, I want pizza. Pizza sounds so good right now. Here we go, scattered and lost. You know what that means, it's time to stand still until the music loops back to the top. Maybe not stand still, but... I love this piece, I'm so happy that it won in the poll, I really wanted to do it. Uh, there's so much that we're gonna be able to talk about, there's modulation, there's weirdly uh, shaped phrases. There's beautiful switches between major and minor, weird key changes, 6-4 time signatures, symbolism in the goddamn keys. I, I love this track. I haven't played this, so will lurking be spoilers? No, this is pretty early in the game. The only spoilers would be, like, specific to this level. So long as you don't mind, uh... Like, I, th I think, if I remember right, there's seven levels in the game, and nothing that happens in level three really has bearings on the story as a whole. So you should be fine. There are minor spoilers, though. You cannot miss those if you stick around. Oh, this music is definitely in the key of gold and spinning. I don't know what- oh, you mean- oh, god damn it, Clint, fuck! <laughs> the funny thing is there's even a track in this soundtrack called Golden, so that's what I thought you were referencing at first. I think that might have been our loop back to the top that I just heard, but I want to stick around. Well, I guess I can start moving because it's not like it's going to stop as soon as I go into the next room.
You can't expect my jokes to be bad and relevant, just bad. I forgot. No, it's not right to say I forgot how good the game's story is. I am just really enjoying remembering. Because, obviously, I, it's been years since I played this. There are many details I've forgotten. And, and Clint, I, I do recommend, if you get the chance, playing this game all the way through. It is difficult, but I unironically, with a straight face, can say that this is the most important game I've ever played. It is so beautiful in so many ways. I don't remember if we actually heard this part last time. This part of the loop might still be going. I'm not sure. No, that that was the loop back. Okay. Yep, we've heard it all. We've heard it. Why am I doing this? I already have the strawberry. I have it installed after Jake recommended it, and I'm not aware of anything much that happens, so I'm planning on it. Well, let me know when you do start playing it. Uh, if, if you stream it, I will definitely watch. I adore this game. The only reason it's been so long since I last played it is because it, it's not that long. Uh, there's a lot of additional content, though, and that is hard. To call the main game hard when there's still the B-sides and C-sides is kind of kind of an overstatement. Wow, most important, that's big. Yeah, I consider this game and Nier Automata to be the most important games I've ever played. They are the only two games that I demand that my sister play, and she hasn't played either of them. Maybe it'll be good for non no 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 tuber. Yeah, it's a great game to stream. I don't know if you cry as easily as I do, but you might cry on stream. I guess it was unnecessary to stand still for the full loop, huh? This is going on forever. Oh yeah, it looks like you cry really easily. Uh, I don't know if they've changed this since I last played the game, but when I... Uh... Yay! There we go. Fuck me up, soundtrack. When I was playing this game, the strawberries didn't actually do anything. I think the game literally said like, Hey, if you collect all the strawberries, you can tell your friends. Did you collect all the strawberries? I did. Like, there's absolutely nothing that they do. I think that may have changed, though, in a, in a patch since then. I think someone in the game said, You got this, and I had to switch BRB. What? Oh, 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 I think someone in this game said you got this and I had to switch to BRB. I don't know what you're referring to, but that sounds like it could be an emotionally charged line, yeah. Because crying. Oh, Shiro, you fool, you're losing her! That's true, guests don't want to spend their time cleaning. This guy really knows how to run a hotel. Bowser said you got this, and it made you cry. I have not played the game you're talking about, clearly. Ba -da -da, da -da. Oh, Clint, in my most recent video, I accidentally put 
like a an obscure reference to I love you because in the script, but then the line didn't end up being relevant, so I cut it. It's not that it was irrelevant, it was, it, it was just that it was taking up too much time. It felt like a repetitive beat. But I said something like, oh, what a difference staying in key can make. And I realized that that's very similar to... Uh, I can't remember any of the character names from that show. We only did it like five years ago. But the brothers song. What a difference Staying in key can make Fuck me Wow No Howdy How's this Sunday fun day It's very good Pedro How are you Thanks for coming in A little something something makes I don't know what that means Clint is that, is that an innuendo? I can't tell. If I don't understand something, I just assume it's innuendo. Hwa! Meant to do that. Indifference! Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I made an eight-hour drive earlier and now finally can chill. Well, welcome to the other side of your drive. I have done similar length drives, and as somebody who does not particularly like driving, I feel your pain, assuming that there is pain involved. Because some people just fucking love driving, and I wish that described me, because I have to do a lot of it. I need to stop doing that. Everything I do is bad. Nearly fell asleep and my lower back hurt. So not the best drive you've ever had in your life then. I'm really glad you're okay. That can be really scary. We've probably gotten the full loop here now. I wasn't paying close attention, but I mean, it's been going on for minutes. It did get quieter when I was talking to Mr. Oshiro, but still, I think, I think it's safe to move on. <sighs> I love this track so much. I'm so happy this won the poll. That was almost all the drives to Disney. I can remember those routes in my sleep. And I have. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm glad you are not commuting while half asleep anymore. Pedro, have you played Celeste? My friend Clint here uh, has not, but he may soon. I forgot that Theo's text boxes are fucking plaid. Get out of here, you hipster. Clearly we were all built for driving. Yes, all three of us just love to drive. Ah, well, I will warn you, there are mild spoilers in this stream. By mild, I mean, like, it doesn't... Not much of it has any relevance to the story at large, other than stuff that becomes clear pretty early in the game. Uh, but there are spoilers for this particular level, which is level 3 of, I think, 7. Uh, what you've missed so far is... Uh, I... So... Not bothered. Okay. Okay. So, Madeline and Theo, these two, uh, are climbing Celeste Mountain. Um, it's not super clear why, but Madeline feels that she absolutely has to. 
uh, and in this chapter they have come across a ruined inn that used to be opulent and has been in disrepair for it seems like years and this floating old man who's the caretaker and owner is trying desperately to get them to stay and buy a room and he doesn't seem aware that the hotel is not in business. And the um, the gross red hazards flying around are very obvious uh, metaphors for the the literal and mental clutter of the caretaker's life. They're only the red stuff is only in this level, which I think is very cool. You had me at floating old man. This game has everything. Mountains, Theo, floating old man. Yeah, highly recommend this game. It is difficult, but the story is beautiful. And at first it seems like it's simple, but it's not. Nothing about the story is simple. I, I don't mean to make it sound like there are humongous plot twists. There aren't. I just think that this game has incredibly important portrayals of struggles with mental illness. And it, um, it manages to articulate what, in my opinion, many therapists fail to. Now you may be wondering... How could you say that about a game where kids climb a mountain? And I would say, play and find out. Sounds intriguing. Yes, I love this game. I'm really happy we're doing it. No. No. And this stream is going exactly as I planned. No, it's not. But it is going exactly as I expected, which is almost the same thing. No! That was close. Oh, God! Of course it's gonna start me right at the beginning. I will say, even though this game is hard, it's also maybe the most accessible game I've ever seen in my life. Like, um... You've got accessibility options. Where are the, uh, accessibility options? Maybe you can only do it from the main menu. Uh, but you can, um, you can, like, turn off damage, you can turn on infinite jumps. The game wants you to play it. Above all. It wants to challenge you, but if it's too challenging, it is more important to the game that you just play it. And I really love that. I think it matches the themes really loyally. What were the losing options of the poll? Because by definition, they're not winners, they're losers. Uh, the two that had votes for them that didn't make it were the 13th Struggle from- Oh, that's such a cute ducking animation. The 13th Struggle from Kingdom Hearts 2, which is currently leading this month's poll. And uh, what was the other one? Climbing the Jinso Tree from Ori and the Blind Forest, which I also put on this poll. Uh, I expect that I will do most of the tracks that end up on polls. It's just a matter of timing and order of operations. Oh, I just noticed that this is actually a fourth version of the track. I thought there were only three, because there are only three in the, uh, in the soundtrack. But this is like a more subdued version of what we were hearing earlier. Ah! I was gonna say, gosh, I hope I'm not missing any, but then I remembered that- oh, fuck me. But then I remembered that, uh, this game lets you start and restart- oh, that's the other thing. You can start from 
pretty much anywhere in the game you've already been, and the checkpoints that happen every time you change screens are also save points, so you can stop playing the game whenever you want. It's so ridiculously accessible. Not gonna lie, I'm not even paying attention to the music. My mind is slightly checked out. You've had a long day, dude. It, it'll be a it'll be a surprise later when when the video comes out. You'll be like, oh man, I've never heard this before. Ooh, haven't done Ori yet myself, and I haven't found all my high school hoodies in order to replay Kingdom Hearts. Hi, Logic. How you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, I, I was telling Pedro recently, I, I actually did replay Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I didn't finish my replay of 2. Ah. What shall? It is a nice checkpoint system. I love this game. Just everything about it was so compassionately made. And I know that the composer has stated that she... Shout out female composers. Uh, found this game extremely special to her. It wasn't just another job. And you can tell. KH is forever. It is. It certainly is going to be in production forever. That's clear. There you are. You certainly have a knack for wandering off. The Le Celestial Resort Hotel extends its gratitude for your assistance, Ms. Madeline. Of course, the staff had the mess under control. I I wish you could hear the uh, the voices. I, I had to turn them off so that I could get clean uh, recordings of the music but the voices in this game are really cute. They're just like synth glurps. Hey, he's a floater. He's just a spooky old man. Oh, I love this track so much, you guys. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you like it, Logic. Da, 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 da. No. Oh. oh no. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Ah. Oh. Hup. Butcher. Huh. No. Dude, platformers make my hands sweat so bad. No other video gaming experience makes my hands sweat. Platformers destroy me. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Nope. Just kidding. Done. Easy peasy. Whoa. No. Oh, this part's really hard. I remember this part actually. I struggled the first time. I love how the uh, the arpeggios like fade in and out, crescendo and decrescendo. Uh, the flow is so good. Right, people say Dark Souls is bad, but there is no stress like having to do 2D jumps. 3D too, man. I've been uh, having trouble in Final Fantasy XIV. You know, the gold saucer events where you have to, like, collect Cactar statues? Those destroy me. 
I mean, the time limit in those is extremely generous, so I've never actually had like a problem, but it's just, it's so stressful anyway. The threat of having to do everything all over again. Don't get me wrong though, uh, Dark Souls. I, I had some trouble with Dark Souls. <laughs> I eventually gave up on it. Can you play Celeste with DK Bongos though? I've never tried. Uh, I never had that game, so I don't even really know how they work or what their compatibility would look like. But I'm pretty sure Celeste is on the Switch, so uh, yeah, Bongo away. Because we know how good Nintendo is with backwards compatibility, don't we boys? Ah, yeah. No! Ah! So close. Whoop! I'm probably gonna die. Oh, nope, not today. Not today. Do you mean real bongos or is that a certain system? It's a certain system. There was a game, I think it was for like GameCube uh, years ago now. I I never played it. Um, <laughs> I love this character. Uh, Clint, it sounds like you know more than I do. I just learned that they make N64 HDMI adapters. Wow, that is a very specific thing to make. And oh boy, is that seemingly such a better option for me. That is such a specific thing to make. Only two of which were music games. I did not know that. Yeah, my parents were not thrilled with the concept of video games in the first place. So, virtually anything that came with peripherals was not an option. Dude, that sounds great. Plenty of people don't like giving up gold game or Absolutely. One was a bongo platformer. Well, I don't know what I expected. Whoa! Man, that would have been very cool if I survived that, but I didn't, so it's just normal. I would say this is harder than it looks, but I feel like it looks pretty hard. At first I thought you were just talking about the DK64 DK rap. They sell the adapter on Amazon. We're so spoiled. We really are. Back in the day, if you wanted to stream 3DS, there was like one guy in Texas that you had to mail your system to and he'd alter and return it. I think he told me about that, or somebody did recently. Oh. Hey, there we go. Who needs to progress in games when you have friendship? Yeah, I have no idea how I would ever stream something on 3DS, so it's a good thing that I can't think of any 3DS games with like music I must talk about. Pretty much everything for the 3DS is also out on other systems. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I definitely have to talk about Fire Emblem Awakening at some point. You know, actually 8-Bit Music Theory just put out a video on a track from Fire Emblem Awakening. I wonder how he got that footage. 
The dudes who came over to fix my internet loved all my gaming stuff, but of course they're like, we play FIFA, Madden, and Call of Duty. Yeah. Nothing against sports and military games, but I do not find them as artful. And I'm like, oh, you like sports games? I've got Milo's Astral Lane's bowling games, baby. See, I don't even know what that is. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't need to do this. Okay, so this is a cool mechanic in the, fuck me. This is a cool mechanic in the game. Um, that cassette over there at the far end of the room, that is uh, a B-side. When you collect a cassette in these games, um, in these games, uh, there's a cassette hidden in each level, and if you collect it, you get a harder version of the level. That is your reward. Uh, I have done some of them, but not all of them. I think I think this is the last one that I did. I was doing them in order, and I just... I almost lost my mind fi finishing this one. I was like, I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I like Mario Sports game, but that's it. You'll know what it is once you come over. We've got three N64 controllers. I've got three N64 controllers. Well, sounds good to me. I've always been good at bowling when there aren't actual balls and pins involved. Probably. I don't know. How do you bowl without motion controls? That's going to be interesting. Timing! Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah. eh. Still no checkpoint. Wah! Of course. Oh my god. Do it, little sprite child. Now that I think about it, this game and uh, Ori and the Blind Forest do have a lot in common. I know you meant sprite like computer sprite, but it works both ways. Truly, it is the very definition of rustic luxury. I'll stand back and allow you to soak in the majesty. I understand it can be a lot to handle. So something that was established in chapter two of this game is that Madeline has this reflection who is canonically called Badeline, uh, who is just really awful to everyone, including Madeline. And uh, it, it's not clear how real or metaphysical she is. She's just here and a problem and specific to Celeste Mountain, it seems. I meant like the soda. It does, though. I can see the Ori similarity now that you mention it. Really, all they have in common is that they're platformers that don't focus on combat. But honestly, I, I guess that doesn't really apply to many modern games, does it? <laughs> Lil underscore sprite underscore child pro gamer tag. Unassuming conveniently placed mirror. Yes, I wonder what will happen with that mirror. Probably nothing, since that is usually what happens with mirrors. She's trying to be so sweet. I know it would impress you! Yeah. So can I get on the roof from here? He's like, he's dead set on making Madeline stay at the hotel. Which is funny because even if she could pay, what would he do with the money? Like, where would he put it? He probably doesn't even have a cash register anymore. There you are!
We are also going to talk about Badalyn's theme and how it shows up in the game. Not in this coming video, because it has nothing to do with Scattered and Lost but I am dead set on doing another Celeste video. At least one more, probably three. <laughs> this resort is a dump! I love the artwork so much in this game. It's never confirmed one way or another, but it seems very likely to me that other people can't see Badalyn, and when Badalyn speaks, they see it as coming from Madeline's mouth, which, um, which continues the idea that Badalyn is just a manifestation of her mental illness. Madeline is as real as you want her to be in lore, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a good way of looking at it. It's very subjective. So much of this game is subjective. Final form of Scattered and Lost. Uh, could this be his true power? I flat. that anime line. Thank you, thank you. Boom! Oh, I can't believe that worked. Yeah! Dunked on. I feel bad saying that. He's just a tired, lonely old man. But also, get dunked on! Woo! Come on! Yeah! Oh no! <laughs> I think Lena Rain and had a medium article or something on this one. Ooh! I'm gonna have to look that up. Thank you for telling me. That could be important in the video. I'd love to hear what she has to say about this track. Uh oh, do you have a bad event? No! I'm just a dick. I have no excuse. Da, 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 
Oh my god! No! Oh my god! That's amazing! I hope I didn't blow out my mic. I tried to turn away. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh. It was close. It was extremely close. I really, I, I had already accepted that I was dead, fuck, like that. That was embarrassing, that wasn't even like a misplay, I just walked straight into it. Hey, thanks for playing. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Oh, fuck. Ah! So, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the level. Once we hit it, I'm going to restart the level and just do the opening, uh sequence where we meet, meet Mr. Oshiro with the sounds turned back on, uh, just in case I want to use those sounds in the video. And then I'm actually gonna uh, play through some of the second level and some of the first, partly because I think it might be useful b-roll, and partly because I just love this game and I don't want to stop playing it. I mean, I've only been streaming for an hour. It would be sad to stop now. Oh no. Hey! Ho! Yay! Yo! Damn. I like how uh, the color fades out and time slows when you're really close to touching him. Stream whichever parts you like. I will! Thank you! I will. That would be weird if I was, like, contractually ob obligated to, like, justify every streaming decision I make. Oh, thought that might have been too early a jump. Oh my god! Oh man! Oh. This room goes on for so long without checkpoints. I think this is the last one, that's why. You see how hard this already is. Imagine doing this on the B side where there's like no solid ground. The B side, I, I mean appropriately for the themes of this game, the B side really challenged my mental state. <laughs> it was quite a tax on me. B side, yeah I was saying that um, you can, um, if you collect the cassette tape in each level, you unlock a harder version of it that you can optionally play. There's not a whole lot of reason to play the B-side, I think, other than bragging rights, and I think if you do all the B-sides, you unlock C-sides that are even harder, and when my friend told me that, I was like, cool, I don't think I have any interest in that. The B-sides are already some of the hardest platforming I've ever done in my life. Maybe the hardest platforming I've ever done in my life. Oh, sorry, I might have zoned out. You are allowed to zone out, partly because you are tired, and partly because... I'm, I was 
It's your life, man. Do what you want. Oh! I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. Hey! They also help unlock some other really late game levels. Oh, I didn't know that. But that's neat that it includes something like that. There's so much, like, this game has so much for, I, I feel like it's just, it's built for all players. Whatever gaming experience you want to have in Celeste, you can have it. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> His character breaks my heart, it really does. Can you guess, can you guess, how many times did I die there? Well, it's hard to know because I didn't actually see what it was before. But it looks like I just increased it by about 100. I don't remember how many times I've played this level, but um, actually seems not bad. Actually seems not bad. Okay, let's play level 2. Nothing happens in this story in level 1, so you might as well be watching this from the beginning at this point if you haven't played the game. At least the hotel will be repaired, so all's well that ends well. I don't know, man. It's already closed for business permanently, and he's a ghost. Doesn't sound great. Taking some time to reevaluate your unlife decisions. This is another track that I think I will eventually make a video about. It evolves really beautifully as the level changes. Oh, wait. Before we do this, I forgot I wanted to restart the beginning of Chapter 3 with sound turned on. Oh, no, too late. Gotta do it from the beginning, it looks like. Turn the sound back on. Off topic, but have you played Grace? Yes! Yes, I have. I played it once so far. I imagine I will play it again with this channel in mind, because uh, I'm not familiar with the soundtrack yet. So I will certainly have to watch it again. I mean, uh, play it again. Basically watch it again. It, it is a very cinematic experience. I had a really good time with it. I have not finished it, the art's cool though. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to get through it because I, I do feel that it is more art piece than video game. Yeah, that sounds like it's quite lovely. So hopefully people want to see it. I think so. I think um, a lot of people really love Gris's soundtrack. I think that's more or less its claim to fame. Madeline's voice is my favorite thing on this green earth. <laughs> His twitching face.
Yeah, it is like Banjo Kazooie. Okay, that's all I wanted. We'll play this with sounds on, because I, I will probably eventually need to uh, capture the music for this level, but I should do a dedicated stream for that, if that ends up being a thing because I, I I like the idea of um, having a, a stream for each video as I start making it no! I can't remember if this is even the right way it is a way I'm gonna be so mad if this is just to get something optional that I already have. Huh! Okay, good. The birth of Badalyn. That's probably fine. Every level in the game has its own gimmick, and I think it's a really beautiful design concept. I don't remember what's over here. Just a job, Ellie. Belly. I don't need this dog belly. Strawberries are great. They they just they're delicious little gems of joy. Oh no. I did the thing. glitchy coloring. I'll have to come back to the Shadow Lord video when I finish Near Replicant, though. Oh yes, please don't watch that <laughs> before you finish Ending B, uh, unless spoilers don't bother you. Uh, there's, there's, there's quite a lot uh, that I imagine most active players will not want to have spoiled. <laughs> But I hope you enjoy it when you watch it. I had a lot of fun making it. I did spoil it right at the start for fun. I figured that since I started with both a visual and a spoken warning, anybody who hears the spoiler after that it's kind of their fault.
I don't know if y'all have uh, experience with mental illness, but boy is this a good portrayal of mental illness. Don't make them wait to regret their decisions. <laughs> Just rip it off like a band-aid. Shit. This music though, right? This music though, right? Hey, this music though, right? Wouldn't it be cool if somebody made a music? Uh, a video? Wouldn't it be cool if somebody made a video about this music, right? Oh, and if it's not clear, um, Battlein is not on a set route. She will do whatever you do. Which just is further symbolically beautiful. Yeah, uh, she is copying. She is doing exactly what I do at the times that I do it. I, I'm trying to demonstrate it, but unfortunately I continue to die. But like, see, I, I'm pausing here. Oh fuck, I paused too long. Very, very cool. No! No! You can make her do little dances. The do -si do partner I never wanted. No! It is 10 out of 10 gameplay, but... Oh man, I just... I... There isn't anything about this game that I don't think is genius. Nice thing, bleh. The nice thing about those space blocks is that they reset your dash, so her hair go red after, e even if her hair blue, it go red. Ah! That's such a tight space, it's hard not to get cornered. She's not actively harmful, but it is... Oh, man, you almost made me tear up with that. That is exactly the case. And now there's more of her. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay away, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> oh my god. So tense. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of how that went. First try. You have so many friends now. No, they're all gone, see? Frickin' flakes, they ditch you as soon as they don't need anything from you. Just like real life. 
Pedro, everything in this game is just like real life. Yeah? No, wait. <laughs> I love absolutely everything about this game. The dialogue is so good. It's so ridiculously good. Like this this game was clearly written and designed by people who not only know what it's like to struggle with mental illness, but know what it's like to persevere over it. And it, it really shows in the story. It really does. <laughs> Me. Cute. <laughs> wow, it looks the same. <laughs> Life goals. I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this game came out four years ago, and even still. I also think it's cool that the, uh, the little warpy space blocks don't seem to exist after she wakes up. Just a strange, horrible dream. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Sometimes you have a bad trip and then you come down. Very, very true. It always ends up okay. Not bad. Did that level three times faster than the last one. <laughs> okay, I know we're going backwards, but now I want to do level one. Just the, uh, the music for all three levels is very good. This one doesn't have any really story content in it, but it's still, it's, it's fun. And, and once I've, uh, once I've done this level, uh, I think I might try one of the B-sides. You know what? I, I haven't finished the B-side for level 4, and level 4 doesn't have any spoilers in it, so maybe I'll give that a shot. It will doubtless go very poorly. I love the sound design on those weird, like, the, the launching platforms, the, the foley art is just so good. I guess it's not foley art, huh? It's probably just an actual sample of machinery. No! Yes, because it's a cassette. That's what's confusing about the presence of seasides. What? That is that is a biome, not not a way to listen to music. Ow. And doing level one after level three is not hard. Oops. Accidentally did some optional content. However will I recover? I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Wait, if this isn't the way I'm supposed to go, what is? I'm lost. No. How could I get lost in a video game? It's unacceptable. I guess we keep going... This way. piano here. No. Ow.
Sheesh. This is embarrassing. Oh, not what I thought was gonna happen. Such lovely music to die to. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Yep. It's so satisfying to like ride the momentum of those platforms. Just feels good. Ah, oh, this looks familiar. And again, did that level in a third the time of the last one. I'm sure that pattern will continue for um, for the B-side of level four. I'm sure I'll be able to do that entire thing in two minutes. That should be pretty simple. I realize that's a incorrect way to describe many game OSTs I love. Oh, and just such lovely music to die to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. B side. I don't think I've finished this, right? Where would it say? Oh no, I guess I have. Because I have the red heart. I haven't even found. Oh, okay. I don't think there are any plot elements in chapter five. Looks like I was collecting strawberries and don't have the tape yet. So, sure, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Clint, Pedro, I like how you guys are just seeing, like, half the entire game before you've played it. It's really not a long game at all. That's how those work, now I remember. <laughs> oh, I thought she was saying uh-oh because there's a mirror. I like the layering in the background. There's so much depth and creepiness. Oh, there we go. Whoops. So, oh, it looks like there are many strawberries I haven't gotten yet in this level. Okay, so I will turn on my explorer go goggle goggles and uh try to find some goodies some strawberries i've spoiled many things before and still enjoy the thing after that is good you have a strength that i do not <laughs> i mean I oh got that one uh there are some cases where I don't mind spoilers, but in general, like, so much of my fun with something it is, like, trying to figure out what's going to happen next and understand the, the lore elements that if, if that's missing from my first experience of something, it makes it less likely that I'll replay it. Less likely that it'll, like, have a place in my heart because it can't toy with my emotions as much. I wish spoilers didn't bother me because, you know, I, it, honestly, it's a weakness, right? 
It's just a restriction on your enjoyment of something. No! There's a strawberry I haven't gotten. Oh my god. This is gonna be rough. No wonder I haven't gotten this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Nope, that's not what we're gonna do. Looks like that's a jump too far. Nope, it's not. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> After Undertale, I get better about really avoiding spoilers for things. Yeah, I still haven't been spoiled for The Last of Us, really. Uh, haven't been able to play that yet, but I will soon because I have a PS4 now. Yeah, there are some things that going in blind is best. I avoid everything for things that look mysterious in particular. Yeah, like, um, there's a, there's a really good visual novel called AI The Somnium Files. It came out a couple years back. The sequel just came out this year, and that's a, a very brilliantly written mystery, and uh, I, I don't even know if I could replay the first one, because I already, like... With a visual novel especially, it's like, I, I already know the story. It's not linear, but it only happens one way. Undertale is good unspoiled. I did have to look up how to get the true ending, uh, but I did not get spoiled for what the true ending was, and boy was that not what I was expecting. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Ah! <laughs> so the way the strawberries work is um, you don't actually count as having collected it until you reach solid ground. Uh, I mean pacifist. Not, not just pacifist, but there there's a true ending other than pacifist right you know like first you have to finish the game in pacifist then you have to load the file and go backwards and then you unlock like another hour or two of story i do not consider genocide to be the true ending <laughs> It looks like I've still skipped quite a few strawberries. I don't know how that happened, but I'll have to expand my search. Looks like I'm not going out back that way. Yeah, you actually can't do the Drew ending in your first playthrough. You have to do an entire neutral one first, and then a pacifist one, and then go backwards in the pacifist one. Hey, Asher. Sup to you too. I don't know why I did that. Hey. God damn it. Hi, Lily. Welcome. Gotta go. Hope the rest of your stream is fun. Thank you, Logic. Thanks for stopping by. It's great to meet you. This is like those strawberry farms where you pick your own berries, but slightly more complicated. <laughs> what are two extra steps? Fuck me. Lily, have you played Celeste? Eh. Another strawberry! Yeah, oh no. Hey. Um, how am I gonna do this? Hey, nope, not like that. Asher, stop. Asher, have you played Celeste? I, I can't remember. Wow, so many, so many, uh, new, new Celeste folks. Uh, I think. 
if if the next video doesn't convince you to play it, uh, maybe be saying this right now will. Uh, play Celeste. It's very good. It's it's a difficult platformer for sure, but the story is uh, it's so good. The music is pretty. No, it is not my first time with Celeste. I have played quite a bit of it. Uh, right now, I am collecting strawberries so that I and also I need the B side for this level. This is level five. Fuck. But no, I, I first played Celeste uh, probably 2019, and I've been listening to and crying to the soundtrack ever since. And because of my uh, patrons voting, I now get to talk about it. Which is a funny way of putting it. I, it makes it sound like my, my patrons keep me locked in a basement and they say, Hey, did we say you could fucking speak? Yeah, Asher, good one. Celeste is also an instrument. That is the extent of my knowledge. It is a beautiful instrument. Not one that is heard in this game, though, I don't think. I think everything in this game is probably meaty. Yeah, got it. Got your strawberry. No! It's okay, we got what we came for. Don't give away our arrangement now. No, so far I have eluded capture. But you know, that's why streamers are so worried about being doxxed, because their fans are just one step away from imprisoning them in turn. Fuck! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I think that's the right... I think that's the right way to go about this. No! No! Uh, sure. I can't... I can't do this today. <laughs> yeah, one day we'll get you back in that basement. Until then, I'm enjoying my untethered life. Eh. Don't encourage him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, wait. I've already gotten this one. I'm out. I feel like you're coming off a little bit 14 years old. <laughs> Lines for days. No, but really, how you doing, Asher? Hope you had a good day. Where are these last couple strawberries? You can tell that I've passed two, but it's hard to say where they are because I'm starting to think maybe they're on the other side of this uh, pillar and maybe um, I'm gonna have to restart the level to get them. Well, for now, let's just move on because I, I think I've explored pretty thoroughly. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess, I, I guess we're not done exploring. Ow. I wish there was a map, but also no I don't because the game would be too easy with a map. Ow. What am I talking about the game would be too easy with a map? This game's fucking hard. No, I, I take it back. I wish there was a map. If there was a map, I wouldn't have done that. I decided. What the heck, man? I haven't even seen a key in this level. Clearly, I have figured this out before on account of I've beaten the game. <laughs> but, uh... What? 
Nope, I've already been pretty thorough down here, I think. What's over here? Not interesting. So you're making a video about one of the songs in this game. Yes, I'll have to look at the soundtrack because this one song is so nice. And this is one of the less exciting songs. I actually already captured the music uh, for the song that the next video will be about. It's in chapter three. But uh, if you want to look it up ahead of time, it's called Scattered and Lost. And it's, it's very good. It's a very good piece of music. Jeez, what, what am I? I feel so dumb when I get stuck in games I've already beaten. Why can't I remember every detail of every game I've ever played? A true fan would. You are so welcome, and let me know if you uh, if you do check Celeste out, um, either the music or the game itself. Um, I, I think this is a really special game, and I, I know I'm not alone. Uh, I know I'm not alone in that. I feel that I am alone though in not knowing what the fuck to do. <laughs> ah, this is frustrating. I've beaten this game before. I feel like it must be down here. There's just, there are so many ways out of this room that I feel like I must just be missing one. Nope, I've pretty much seen it all. I'm not even looking for strawberries anymore, man. I just want to progress. Something will happen eventually, you'll get it. You know, you'd be a good life coach, Pedro. Which I'm sure is helpful in teaching. <laughs> Mash buttons to victory. <laughs> if only button mashing could get you through getting lost. I don't think it quite works that way. Which out. Ow, fuck me. I, I guess I haven't been as diligent in checking the upper rooms. Asher, you've played this, right? Oh, there's the key! I've even been in this room already, like this session. I just... There's so many places you can go in the beginning of this level that I have. I just forgot. I just forgot, okay? I mash buttons on my phone when I get lost to bring up a map, so bam. Do you ever, like... Do you ever have your GPS open on your phone and you need to adjust something on it and it should just take one press, but because you're driving, it takes like 17 presses and then you're breaking the law and endangering other people just because your phone won't do what you want your phone to do. Just me. Yes, I hate it. <laughs> Makes me feel so incompetent. Ouch. Ouch. You know what else makes me feel incompetent? Uh oh. Hey! Uh, not that, because that was flawless, thank you. I wish I hadn't done that, because now I'm starting to think, uh, what if... Damn, there's no way back from that. What if there was a strawberry if I had kept going? Now I'll never know. Now I'll never know. Oh wait, of course I can come back from that. I need to get the key to go to a different place in the previous area. Okay, I'll, no, I'll, 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 be, I'll, be, I'll be fine. We'll, we'll work this out. I have faith that we can get through this as a team. As a team. <laughs> oh. 
Of course the timing wasn't right on that one. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to time that from such a long point away? No! I guess I could grip the wall. Nope, can't reach it. Yes, in the words of George Michael, you just gotta have faith. I forgot George Michael said something other than uh, he was never gonna dance again. Because you see, his guilty feet have got no rhythm. God! It does have similarities to Jump King. Uh, Jump King is a much simpler and less poetic game, uh, but yes, definitely some Jump King, King vibes. He will also be your father figure. Yeah, I, um, I've played a bit of Jump King, but I am not good at it. <laughs> I've played it for hours. I've gotten to, I think, the third zone, maybe? Uh, but guess where I am currently? That's right, the beginning. Freaking hate Jump King. You did not make that reference. I already forgot what reference I made. I was not listening to myself. Is Jump King DK related? No, Jump King isn't. <laughs> that was cute. She sneezed because it's cold. Oh my God. The little squeaks. Uh, sorry. Jump King is not DK related. Jump King is a little indie game uh, where it, it, it's a platformer like this, but you know how in, in most platformers, when you're airborne, you can move in impossible ways. Just like, oh, I, I want to change direction, even though I've already left the ground. No problem. In Jump King, you can't do that. In Jump King, you only jump in perfect parabolas, and the only way to change how far you jump is how long you hold the button beforehand, and there is no like power gauge or trajectory or anything. You have to do it by feeling. It's brutally difficult. Oh, George Michael. I mean, Pedro started it. I did it. <laughs> I love how echoey it is. See, I value my mental health, so I don't play too many platformers nowadays. <laughs> That's the ironic thing about Celeste, is you have to endanger your, your mental health in order to enjoy this story about mental health. It's your boy Theo in this ancient temple, NBD. Blessed. <laughs> no, you guys! I don't like the basement! Wait, aren't streamers supposed to keep their mods in the basement? Why am I the one in the basement? <laughs> I guess because I, uh, until I have mods, I have to fulfill that role myself, right? That's how it works. Now, fortunately, I, I have not yet seen need for mods. Everybody's been really lovely in stream. It's a reverse harem. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means. Yeah, I, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> ah. I remember reading in an interview that like Yoko Taro commented once that 
it's funny that um, Nier has a harem, but there are no cis women in it. He didn't use that terminology, of course, because he's Japanese, but you know what I mean. I guess Kaine... I feel like Kaine does count as a cis woman because she was, like, she was deformed after birth. Like, it, it was part of a traumatic event. It wasn't... I don't know. I feel like she's a gray area when it comes to the social justice representation. how you do that. Okay. Yay! Strawberry! So it looks like I did miss three strawberries in the first section. I have no idea where that could have happened. I assume the first two I missed were before I even entered the temple. I'll have to go back. Actually, let's just do that right now. No, because I'm like halfway through this part. And... I don't want to have to restart. Whee. Ah. Uh, my understanding is that she became intersex when Tyrion possessed her. But I don't want that to be true. Like, I want to be proven wrong about that. I think it's it's much more interesting and uh, it actually counts as good representation if she was born intersex, but I don't believe that that is the intention. What, the, the way somebody explained it to me was that Tyrion possessed her uh, when she was a child. It's just that he didn't have uh, the chance to really like start taking over in any sort of way until uh, she had such traumatic injuries that his help was the only way she could survive. But yeah, I'd love to be wrong about that. Because Kaine is the closest thing to a true intersex character I've ever seen in video games. Ever. And I, I don't think I'm alone in that. And that's a bit of a problem. Because there's actually a lot of intersex people, it turns out. I heard it's more common than blue eyes. It's just, you know, you see people's eyes. Ah, oh, good, another strawberry. No! I don't know why I started saying strawberry like the like Elma Fudd. It's just a fun way to say strawberry. Ah, so close. Yeah, I I think I I don't I wish I better understood the timeline with Tyrion. Because I, I don't understand the timeline with Tyrion. I don't know when he and she first met. Oh my god! I don't know, his presence isn't really implied for the early part of Kaine's memory and the villagers hated her before Tyrion ever became involved. I hope you guys are right. I hope that the person I was talking to was out of their mind. Yeah, I... I, I agree that she was absolutely, definitely intersex as a child. 
I'm just not sure if Tyrion had already, like, half-possessed her by then or not. Because, again, like, somebody... I, I, I don't know how correct or knowledgeable they were, but somebody at some point said to me that uh, when Tyrion, like, fully started taking over when her grandmother died, like, he had already been with her for years. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it's hard, right? Because, like, Japanese media is trying to be socially progressive, but it, in, in terms of, like, trans representation in particular, uh, they very rarely nail it. You get a lot of cross-dressing characters where it's like, oh, no, it's okay, just dress however you want. It's like, okay, that, that's not what a trans person is, though. Yeah, that's my that's my one pet peeve with Yokotaro is I I sure would like him to just release his stories as complete packages. Looks like I missed a key somewhere. Hey, did the designers, like, consider that it's hard to see in the dark? Because it's, like, it's it's hard to see in the dark. Oh, no, I didn't think this through. Oh, I've already got this strawberry. Designers said, get good, as the youth would say. Ah, oh, how cruel that we are no longer the youth. We kind of are. Depends who you ask, right? up here the key i would feel triumphant except again i clearly already did this years ago i turned 30 this year too wasn't my favorite thing i uh i'm not much of a party person so i decided that uh the best thing to do to get me out of the house was to um work that was a bad idea just felt like I didn't have a birthday. Did not go the way I planned. Would not recommend doing nothing for your 30th birthday. My roommate is like super grounded. Uh, she's one year older than me and I was like, did it bother you when you turned 30? She's like, no, why? Why would that bother me? That's stupid. I'm like, I know it's stupid, but it bothers me. 30s buddies! I should have gotten crunk or something. I'm not not much of a party person, but I um, should have had some friends over or something. <laughs> Lily, how could you? I'm wounded. <laughs> I'm actually I I really like that. Um, it seems that the the people who 
uh, have been uh, like the most active with my channel seem to be our age. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I thought social media was a young person's game. And when I say young, I mean like, you know, 15, 17, 22. I, I didn't expect so much of my viewership to be people my age, but when I look at the analytics, that's like all. Like, <laughs> the only people who watch my videos are in their late 20s, early 30s. <laughs> what did you say, Lily? I can't hear what you typed. <laughs> Low-key evil is so much better than high-key evil. Therefore, you're winning at life. Ow. Ah. Common interests indeed. I wonder what would have happened if I, like, if I started making these videos years ago, would it still be the same? Like, I, I don't see why it wouldn't be the same age range. But also, I didn't. Who knows? Like, it, it, it's so hard to say about stuff that didn't happen, why it didn't happen. Maybe I just couldn't have done this at an earlier age. Loki Evil is great. You guys familiar with the term Gap Moe? I'm a big fan of Gap Moe. I don't remember where I saw that lock. Yeah, TikTok and Instagram are... I almost said happening. Oh, I am old. Gap Moe, it, it's, it's an anime term. It refers to like when a character has aspects of their personality that seem to uh, contradict one another. So, like, I don't know, a, a tsundere character who gets really flustered by how cute cats are kind of thing. That would be Gap Moe. Yeah, I, um... I, I did start a uh, TikTok just because it, it seems like an important promotional tool, but honestly, it scares the hell out of me. I don't trust its privacy settings at all. <laughs> and I, I, I know people say that the algorithm is really good at finding stuff that you want to watch, and maybe I just didn't give it enough time, but I've never seen more than like an isolated TikTok here and there that I enjoyed. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that to like be a hipster. I just, I, I was trying to find content I liked, and I didn't find it. It's sad because, like, as a kid, I was, I was very good with computers, I was very into computers, and I I tried to learn all, all the new toys and stuff, and now it, I'm just like, what? TikTok? Isn't that, a, isn't that a sound a clock makes? Like, when, when I'm 70 years old, people are gonna have to help me order groceries. I'm just gonna be completely out of touch with all technology. Stayed away from TikTok, but then the pandemic happened, and now I'm hooked. Hey, it happens. My mom is like self-described very, uh, oh, I found the B-side, yay. Um, she's very into Facebook shorts of all things. I guess that is kind of like Boomer TikTok, right? That makes sense. Ah. B 
happy party! Oh. I like that the uh, the obstacles and the B-side challenges, not not the B-side levels themselves, but the, the challenges to actually unlock them, they always have these um, rhythm, uh, rhythm synced obstacles that are pretty cool. Totally understand what you mean. Had to make a Facebook recently for work. I literally only use it for work and refuse to engage with it otherwise, and I don't know how other social medias work. I used to be pretty active with Facebook, uh, but in recent years, I've been deliberately using it less and less, and at, at this point, it's basically a messaging app for me. Let's give this a shot. Oh, this is gonna be rough. It's not long, it's just really difficult. I need to time that better. I think I need to I think I need to get all the way to the second blue block with the dash. Oops. Yeah, I do mainly use it for just looking at what other people do and to keep track of birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> Rarely post anything. I used to post pretty frequently. Um, I, I don't want to talk about politics, but I, I did make a lot of political posts um, before 2021, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I, I just, I felt that everything I said was either, oh man, everything I said was either being heard by people who already agreed with me or falling on deaf ears. I naively believed that talking about values was more, even more important than voting because if you could change somebody else's mind, then you're changing multiple votes instead of just your own. Uh, but people don't really like changing their minds, it turns out, so. Fuck. So now I just use it for friends. Which I guess was the original point. No, too early, Jonathan. Come on. Get with the program. Now. No, too late. Feel the same. People don't change their minds with online arguments, so I stopped doing that too. Yeah. It's too easy to just discredit somebody as a wall of text. And also, what I started thinking about is um, not on Facebook because you have like your profile and usually a picture attached but with stuff like reddit and youtube where you can easily hide everything about your identity it just makes me think like how often are adults arguing with and taking advice from literal children and just never know that creeps me out when talking about politics respect is the key it is going into the conversation with the intent of ch to change someone else is never it never works yes yes i completely agree um the problem i was facing was that i would always come with humility and the willingness to change and sometimes i would change but even the people who were capable who were like able to convince me that my position was wrong even they wouldn't give me a chance to like share my view with them everybody i've spoken to like everyone i've spoken to who doesn't already agree with me online has been completely uninterested in even pretending to entertain the things i have to say and it's just it's it's one-sided if you go into those conversations as the only person willing to change your mind then there are only two possible outcomes. Either you're wrong and you change your mind, or you're not wrong and you both waste your time. And frankly, if you are the person who is willing to change your mind, chances are you already have changed your mind before, which means you're probably more correct in general on average than the other. I've thought about this a lot. I, I've been thinking about how like, by being humble and willing to accept new perspectives, you eventually have to do it less and less because you start hearing more and more correct perspectives and accepting them. You have less room to grow than most people. And so the rate at which your virtue is actually useful kind of starts to shrink.
Anyway, we're playing Celeste. What? No! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Easy. Halfway there. Oh, wait. Oh, it's all coming back to me. I've actually, I've gotten this far before, and then I gave up. I like hearing people's thoughts on various things, though. I like both of your approaches to matters. Oh, thank you. But yes, video games. Yeah, I I think it's really important to, like, you know, keep an open mind and, and hear opinions that are different from your own. And to just, like, always be seeking ways to educate yourself in general. Um, but I don't engage anymore. I'm, I'm fine, like, reading and listening to other opinions, but I don't respond anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! Ah, uh, such a nostalgic sound. You know, since the three of us are usually the ones here, yeah, perhaps we should have a private Facebook group together and we could discuss more serious things with that. Just an idea. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I also don't really have much, I, like, much to say that I don't already say on stream. I, I just like chilling, but, um... I don't know. I, I talk and I rant, but I I typically try to keep things casual and light. Deep thinking is important, but it's not exactly... I don't know. I get... It, it is an interest of mine, but it's... I feel that it can feel very heavy. I don't remember where I saw the lock that this key is supposed to go into. It was so long ago. Fair point, I just figured since we get along well, it's a safer way to express yourself without involving the rest of the internet. Yeah, I, it, it, I'm i totally down. I'm I'm on Facebook under this name. If, if you'd like to add me, I, I welcome that. Um, but yeah, I... I, I'm pretty unfiltered on this stream. I I don't really have many controversial ideas, so I'm I'm not terribly afraid to speak my mind and just be me. I'm cool with whatever. I throw nuggets of wisdoms and pebbles of nonsense wherever and to whomever is listening. I think that describes your chat habits very well. <laughs> Where the heck, man? Where, where the heck did, where, where key go? I don't remember where key go. Oh, does key go here? This looks like my, this looks like might be where key go. Hey, LMAO. Clint, if only there was a place where we could all privately interact with you and also support your creative endeavors someplace we could be. <laughs> You freaking dork. Can't do group messages on Patreon, though. Completely different game name. No way! An alias on the internet? That's crazy. There is Discord. I've been thinking that eventually I'll probably want to uh, make one for the channel, since that's what people do, apparently. 
uh, but I, I just haven't had any plans for that yet, and also because I'm not a super extroverted person, I just don't know if I want to um, open an entire Discord server uh, without a mod team, because that would mean that I have to read everything on the server to make sure everything is A-OK -okay and hunky-dory. But it, it, it is a possibility for the future. I may, I may uh, launch a Discord server at some point. That would be fun. No! Thank you. Appreciate that. No! <sighs> Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Sailor V. <laughs> Did you guys know that Lily is the Sailor Venus? Like, not the voice actor. She is Sailor Venus. Why did I do- No! A whale celebrity in my own chat. You guys are all celebrities in my chat. You take time out of your day on a regular basis, all of you, to just hang with me as I dick around in video games. That is celebrity status right there. I keep doing that it's just like i i have such an instinct to tilt the joystick away from the moving spikes cool don't like me that's that's too nice i don't know what to do with that <laughs> i'm very bad with compliments i i know that's not exactly unique to me. No. Wah. Oh! That was a gross sound. Pretend I didn't make it. Or turn it into a ringtone. But go one way or the other. you compliments in an aggressive manner then aggressive compliment there yes 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 of course immersion therapy with compliments I think I must be in that second to last bracket now. And it looks like I have gotten zero strawberries here. Hmm. 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 
No, I this can't be a thing. I'm gonna get so flustered. <laughs> the freaking emoji. <laughs> I feel like I probably just missed all of the strawberries that were in that area. Let's turn some lights on in here. Oh no. I didn't think that was gonna be a mirror. <laughs> You're the same. Taking compliments is a skill. It's one I'd like to get better at, but you know, this is gonna take a while and that's okay. I don't remember this. That's gross. Wait, I, I'm controlling? How do I not remember this at all? This is so gross. Uh, I, I don't know the last time I played, well, th I, I've only ever played this level once, uh, because the whole reason I'm doing it now is, uh, that I haven't collected all the strawberries. So the last time I was actively playing it, I was just trying to go around and collect strawberries and do B-sides. Oh, this is so creepy. So the last time that I actually played through this level was the first time I played the game. That was probably 2018, 2019. I mean, it was 2018, 2019. I just don't remember which. I'm actually going to stop here. I think we might be getting towards spoilers soon. Yeah, get that death counter up, baby. It's B-side time. I hope you're ready to see me try and fail to do the same thing many times in a row. Yeah. Okay, I already hate this. <laughs> but I love the music. What a great remix, fuck. You know, this is making me realize uh, I need to replay the B-side of Chapter 3. I bet there's a, a remix of Scattered and Lost that I just totally forgot about. It is. It's. It's actually the same. It's the same song, but it's. It's been all nightclub. It's groovy. Are you a jazz music teacher, Pedro, or mostly classical? Or que no los dos? No. Wait. Oh. Yeah. This is. This is sick. Oh man. Yo, this is fantastic. No, no, are you kidding me? No. 
me and Jess, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I... I used to play jazz trumpet a little bit. I don't remember very much. But I, I know that in jazz, the rules are much softer and uh, modes are much more common rather than just major and minor. And um, like understanding chord structure is pretty mandatory, even if you play notes like trumpet that only play one note at a time. Because if you know the chord structure, the chords are usually written in the sheet music charts in jazz music. Uh, and so when you improvise solos, you stick to the degrees of those chords. Uh, pretty gravy. Pretty much set. Oh man. But yeah, let's get some jazz violin. Hey! Ow. I don't even know what that would sound like, but it sounds cool! Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Who designs these? There's the, there's the palm sweat. Yeah, baby. Okay, that room's down. I'd love to try jazz violin. That's a, there's a famous jazz violinist, Jean-Luc Ponty, if you're interested in hearing what it would sound like. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll check that out. Okay, I have to remember, after a string, I'm going to look up Jean-Luc Ponty, and I'm going to look up that interview Logic was talking about with Lena Rain. Wait a minute, why am I talking in future tense? I should do the... B side of chapter three right now. I didn't even know violins could be used in jazz. Anything can be used in jazz. You could play a sitar in jazz. I'm sure people have. Fuck. 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 This is a good start. Hmm. Hmm. I only have so much, um, grip stamina. When she starts flashing red, that means it's running out. The more you know. Oh, man. Fuck me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I know I keep doing this. Sorry just occurred to me that uh, if I go to a later checkpoint, it's more likely to have Scattered and Lost playing. Or maybe it's just the same track for the whole B-side, I don't remember. It's 
it's not a style I typically gravitate toward, but it's fun to learn new things about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in kind of the same boat. I really like listening to jazz, uh, mostly as focus or background music, but it's not something I typically actively, uh, actively listen to. more melodic based music or heavy romantic era stuff. Yeah, I'm with you. I In the stuff that I've written, I've usually started with the melodies and added chords afterwards, which is backwards from how most people write. Uh, and and I'm, I'm certain like I've, I've run into challenges because of that attempt, uh, approach. But I don't know, man. For me, if you don't have a good melody, then the rest is kind of unimportant. That's, that, I'm not saying that, like, chord, <laughs> I'm not trying to put my foot in my mouth here. For me, chords are less important. Well, th no, that's not true. That's misleading, too, because the chords dictate the melody. I'm not wording this well at all. See, this is why I write my videos. I'm glad you get what I mean. Yeah, soundtracks are great. Isn't that weird that I like soundtracks? Well, it sounds like, um... Sounds like this isn't gonna have a remix of Scattered and Lost in it. But it is nice. Very difficult. <laughs> oh, I think Pedro knows this, but I'm uh, going to be releasing full loops of the different versions of Shadow Lord soon, probably tonight, uh, on, on the same channel. I just, as I was making the Shadow Lord video, I found that. Um, it, nobody has really uploaded full loops of the different versions. There's the voice and choir, there's that plus the percussion, then you've got the full orchestra, uh, choir and music box, and of course the music box solo. And all I've been able to find on YouTube really is the album versions and the music box version. So I just want to upload all five versions in one place. So that people can listen to them at will instead of just the arrangement on the soundtrack which doesn't even have the music box everybody's gone to the rapture has one of my favorite video game soundtracks in lord of the rings film yeah i haven't i i've heard really good things about everyone's gone to the rapture but i haven't played or listened to it ah One of my favorite pieces of music of all time is Alien Manifestation from Nier Automata, and uh, that's why it's on the poll right now, and I I'm, I'm sure that, like, eventually that will be a video I do, because it's just, it's such an important piece to me. It starts out the game, and I was just like, I am in love. I've never heard anything like this. And I played Automata before Replicant, so that was my first... And I haven't played any of Drakengard, so that was my first Keiichi Okabe piece, and nothing has quite rivaled it for me yet. God, 
God damn, this is hard. How did I even do this before? You, you, th you think it would be different from uh, the near videos I've done so far, Lily? I know people have up... Oh, you mean, um, you mean... I see what you mean. You mean for the Shadow Lord versions. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not going to, like, dispute copyright claims or try to run ads on it. Like, that is their property, 100%. Uh, but I know that people have put lots of, uh, near music online without permission from Square Enix, and it's been fine. And, like, worst case scenario, they'll be like, hey, Take it down, and I will. This might seem dumb, but one person has avoided copyright by just putting this is not. <laughs> That's funny. Well, the, the way YouTube's copyright check works is like it, it's pretty much robot. <laughs> it's pretty much robot driven driven like um, right now I have a copyright hold on the Shadow Lord video just because as soon as I uploaded it the YouTube servers were like hey is that Shadow Lord you don't own that so I'm disputing it because it's um, it's fair use it counts as educational but the point is it's it's a robot doing the checking not a person and it happens immediately even if your video is private or unlisted One last thing, I'm going to check the last stage of this B-side, see if the rooftop section has a different track when you're like fighting with um, the boy. No, it seems like it's the same track. Okay, I think I'm done with this for now. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can't believe this young girl doesn't have the grip strength of an Olympian. <laughs> Favorite music? Tough to say. I like a little of everything. In the last few years, I've really loved K-pop and video game soundtracks. Yeah. I've definitely... I, <laughs> I've I've listened to a lot of Twice in the last year or two. Uh, I, I like a lot of their music. I think that they're... I know, I'm, I'm so one-track minded, but their instrumentals are so good. Um, I think I'm done with Celeste. I have been going for longer than I thought, actually. Twice is cool. I like them a lot. Um, it's shorter than I usually stream, but I think I am going to call it here. I've, I'm just, I'm out of things to do in Celeste. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's a little late to switch over. You know what? You know what? I'll play a little bit of Jump King before we call it a night. Give me a sec to switch it over.
Jump King! There is a hot babe at the top! And I don't know why OBS is not picking it up. Come on. Come on. Maybe I have to... Oh! It actually has recommended settings and it says that the... That's so interesting. The game capture just straight up doesn't work. Neat. Let's do that then. Hooray. And then we'll put that in. Hey. Jump King. Legend has it that there is a smoking hot babe at the top. All right. So the way Jump King works is if you fall, the game immediately saves that you have fallen. And if you fall all the way to the bottom, uh, then it's like starting a new game. Guess how far I am from the bottom. I'll show you. This is the bottom. So, yeah. Uh, Jump King. I, I want to play, like, some background music, but I don't know what stream safe. This is going well. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be playing with this for very long. Usually I can play this for about 30 minutes and then I start to feel my psyche eroding. And that's when I call it quits for, I don't know, a month. We'll just have to ramble in the chat to fill this gameplay with sound. I wonder if there's like a... I mean, since it's obviously okay to have video game audio in a uh, stream. I wonder if there's like a... It would be super tonally inappropriate, but you guys want to listen to the Ori and the Blind Forest soundtrack? It's pretty beautiful. Fuck me. Making progress. Okay, area two. Okay, cool. Let me switch over really quick. I'm just gonna launch uh, Spotify. <laughs> Objective, get to the babe at the top. Does it just say that for the whole goddamn game? Look how many times I've fallen, you guys. 658. That's great. Oh, wow. It even it even tracks how many times I've launched the game. That's funny. Okay, well, Spotify has taken a little bit. So while it is launching, I will continue on my quest for the babe. What a colossal drain of my time.
Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Have to leave for a sec. So you're looking for a... <laughs> what, babe? The babe with the power. Yes, I'm looking for a babe. Get to the babe at the top. That is the entire plot of the game. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. The plot of the game is there is a babe at the top, so legend says. The top of what? The top of this. What is this? Jump King. Fuck. 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 That babe better be worth it. What if she's taken? That would suck. Okay, one sec. Spotify's up. Wow, I, I don't know about you guys, but Spotify takes forever and a half to load on my computer. Sailor V is pretty hot, it's true. I bet she's a symbol for capitalism or something. The unattainable dream, trickle-down economics. I hope not too many things trickle down this colossal drain. Okay, Spotify, what the fuck? Why are you so resource intensive? You're a music player. Fuck, 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 fuck. I wonder if there's another game that makes me curse more than this one does. <laughs> oh, I would hate for some fluids to come down this colossal drain. Uh, yeah. Mwah. Watch out. Hua. Sick moves. Yeah. Eh. Hua. The sounds make it better. Have you noticed that I haven't fallen since I started making the sounds? That's because I stopped making the sounds. Something that I think is a funny touch in this game is that uh, when you do fall down, um, you just kind of land flat on your face, and until you touch the joystick, he'll just lie there, defeated. And I love that, because sometimes in this game, that's all I want to do, is lie there, defeated. Why the fuck isn't Spotify loading? It's just a black screen on my computer right now. It's just a black box. Why is it taking like seven minutes to load a music player? <sighs> Relatable. Sometimes you just want to give up on life. Oh, that's right, that's how you do that part. It wants to fuel your rage. Yeah, I don't really do rage quits, so I need Spotify to piss me off so that I can have a more uh, iconic gamer. Uh, wait, oh, that skeleton's snipping. Sing the twice song or yes or yes to it. I don't know what the twice song is. No! This is one of those times. This is one of those times. I like that there are flower flowers growing around me too. Like, yes, you may rest here. Okay. Good. 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 No, that's fine. I'll check it out. The twice song. 
Cool, now I have three things to check out after stream. This is awesome. <laughs> Collecting recommendations like Pokemon. Good. Okay, you know what you get, Spotify? You get closed and reopened. Because you just, you're not playing by the game. The, you're not playing by the rules of the game, which are launch when you are launched. If you keep this up, I'm going to have to play the soundtrack from YouTube. As soon as I said that, it, it popped up. That's funny. Okay, here we go. Let me know if it's too loud, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, Spotify's like, oh shit, you can listen to music for free on YouTube. I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna turn off the music. There is music in this game? Shit. This will certainly be appearing in a future video too. I have so many plans for videos, you guys. I really hope that I can make, uh, keep making these as long as I want to. Because, man, do I have a lot of thoughts about a lot of soundtracks. I have power. Again, the power of capitalism. Uh, if, if, if you aren't familiar with, with Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, Lily, I, I think you said you are, Pedro. Um, I, I kind of consider it the up of video games, like the Pixar movie Up, uh, in that the opening cutscene made me cry a lot and has done so every time I've watched it since then. Aw, I'm glad you like my thoughts. Fuck. Fuck. That's not to say that the story of Ori and the Blind Forest is very good. Uh, it's not, but the opening is very good. Like, what is this track? Are you kidding me? This was actually the first time I cried. Nothing sad even happens. I was just so in love. I was. I just started crying because of how beautiful it was. I mean, it pairs with the uh, with the on-screen visuals so well too. I think the composer Gareth Coker uh, got some kind of award. He should have. I remember seeing a video of him like conducting the the band that the, or the orchestra that that put the soundtrack together and he was like okay let's do it one more time from measure 17 uh not because i need to i just i want to i want to hear you guys do it again <laughs> i thought it was very cute well i it's not so much that I didn't care for the rest of the story, it's that there isn't really a rest of the story. Um, I mean, that that's not true. Uh, I do like the, the subplot with Kuro, the owl. But uh, in terms of, like, how... 
I just, I have such a problem in all stories with death being impermanent. I think it's such, it, it's a stakes killer. If you know that death can be reversed under some circumstances, you never have to worry about a character again. It's fucked up. Yeah, right? What are you going to do? Like, Are you not going to have an orchestra play in front of you just for your amusement? Come on. Who has an opportunity like that? <laughs> what? Oh god. When I was first thinking about streaming, I was like, oh, Jump King would be fun. And then I was like, except I'm gonna suck at it. And like, people like watching streamers play Jump King for the rages. But what about what happens after the rages when you just have to replay the same gameplay for the next 10 minutes? It's not fascinating gameplay. You can move and you can jump. Oh, you're so welcome, Lily. I just, I didn't, I didn't want to stop it there. I, I, I wanted to keep hanging out. No problem. No problem. Okay, back to the claw. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh. Perfect timing indeed. close and that was bad don't cry Jonathan the hot lady isn't going anywhere she's just as stuck as you are true are you kidding are you kidding this game is so unforgiving oh you held the X button for Half of half a second too long. Hope you enjoyed the last 30 minutes. You're gonna get to do them again. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, it's all, it's all right. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. And the crying continues anyway. Well, that's uh, that's not the uh, uh, that's not because of the game. That's because I'm listening to Ori and the Blind Forest. You know, it's just it's such an emotional soundtrack. I just I, I can't I can't help myself. Fuck. Pedro, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm not even a huge Game of Thrones fan, and that still hurts. I love this part. So 
good. Fuck me. I should do a video on Jump King. I love the way it goes. <laughs> it did swell right as I was falling. I'm glad you like it, Lily. This is one of my all-time favorite soundtracks. Sometimes a composer or recording artist will just put out an album and I'm like, who gave you the telephone number for my heart and soul? Call at any time, you magnificent genius. Cool. You enjoying this gameplay, you guys? You enjoying this? <laughs> you enjoying this game? You enjoying this gameplay? Was it was it really nice to walk in those fields? Yeah, I'm sure. No. Are you kidding? I want the stream to be entertaining. I don't care why it's entertaining. I just want people to have fun. This part reminds me a little of the soundtrack to Child of Light. Didn't love the game. I thought the soundtrack was really nice, though. That's another wo uh, woman composer, Kel de Coal. I don't know her real name. But I, I listened to some of her, uh, like, normal recording artist stuff. She's quite a good singer. Am I having fun? I don't know. I don't know. Just like I don't know if I'm pronouncing Cœur de Peral correctly. It's, it's supposed to be French for Heart of the Pirate. Unfortunately, those are the only two female composers I can think of from video games. I'd love to see more, but like, it, it's not specific to video games. Women just aren't successful composers very often, and it's tragic, because why would making music be easier for men? That makes no sense. Makes me think it's a glass ceiling kind of thing. Yoko Shimomura, uh, what has she done? I might not be familiar. Because I, I know that that's how it is for, like, um, Broadway composers. Like, I, I know this really talented uh, writing duo, both women, who... Uh, e eventually they, they got hired to, um, they did the music for the Frozen Christmas special, <laughs> which, um, probably not high art, but hey, pretty filthy paycheck, I bet. Um, but they have such good stuff, and they, they were talking about how, like, it's just, it's harder to be taken seriously, which is bullshit. <laughs> That's why I know that name. Yoko Shimomura. I, I'm so bad with Japanese names. I didn't know what, what the gender of that name was. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's great. 
I often wonder what the Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2 soundtracks would sound like on real orchestras instead of MIDI instruments. I'd love to hear that sometime. Yuka Kitamura. Ooh, there's more women than I thought in music. That's good. Pleased to be wrong in this case. Yuki Kajira and Yoki Yoko Kano. Oh, that's good. I don't know very much at all about anime soundtracks. I mean, I I pay attention to the OPs and EDs occasionally because, you know, everyone does. But I'm much less familiar with scoring. Ooh, I, I need to look up, though, uh, who did the scoring for Vivi Fluoride Eyes song because, wow, wow. Hmm. Every episode of that show is fucking painful, but the music is so good. Yeah, exactly, Pedro. <laughs> it shouldn't be like, oh, I thought of a woman. That's a win. Yuki Kajiro's work is so catchy. She has some cool violin parts in her. Ooh, that's neat. You saying live made me think of Love Live, and I I think the the songs from that uh, that IP are written for, by various different people and groups, but the lyrics for Love Live, all the, like, they probably have hundreds of songs now, and the lyrics for, like, 99% of them are all written by a woman named Akihata. And I'm just like, how can a person have that many words inside them? Yoko Kano wrote Eska Flaum, and it's, that's all I need to know. Damn, you guys are giving me so many recommendations, I'm not gonna be able to remember them all, I'm gonna have to, like, look back at the chat later on. <laughs> But it's all good. I love good music. Oh. All their music slaps. That's the thing with um, glass ceilings, right? Is the the people who do manage to get through are so freaking good that even prejudice couldn't stop them. Yeah, that that would be cool. At at some point, I'll have to do that. We'll have to just do a music appreciation stream. We'll probably have to stick to video game music so that it doesn't get like copyright stricken. But that would be so much fun. I think that's a great idea. Me too, this is a really good one. For all the rest, we can use the Facebook group or Discord, leave it to me. Okay, sounds good. I'm a big fan of counter melodies on cello in particular. I think cello is such a beautiful, rich instrument, and it can just add such a sense of both magic and gravity to a piece. Like, solos, yeah, but also 
in particular for me, it's when a, an ensemble of cellos is playing a counter rhythm that I'm just like, oh god, yes, or counter melody. Gives it such a drive without it being, like, kitschy. I don't know very much about the structural differences between the different string instruments. Um, does knowing the like fingerings and technique for violin make it easier to play cello or vi viola, or is it um, is it pretty hard to transfer the skills? Because like trumpet and valve trombone are basically the same instrument. You can just play one like you play the other. But with string instruments, I, I know that there's there's much more going on because the uh, you're interacting directly with what's making the sound, unlike um, keyed instruments. We're gonna get to the top of the colossal drain today. That would be lovely. I would love to get to the colossal, the top of the colossal drain today. Technique-wise, violin and viola have the same basic mechanics, but as you get lower in the string family, the more you have to work the bow. Thicker strings means more weight to pull out the sound. That makes sense. Yeah, upright bass definitely looks like a completely different instrument from violin. A bit of delay in the actual Oh, wow, so you actually have to... You have to sort of anticipate the beat then. That reminds me of in, um... When I used to be in marching ba band in high school, uh, when we did field shows, we would have to deliberately play too early. Uh, because by the time the sound reached the audience, it would be synced up with the drum major. Sounds like you're, you're talking about a more mechanical delay than a literal sound, speed of sound delay, though. Violas and cellos have the same... have the same string setup, just an octave apart. Oh, that's nice. That's the same as trumpets and uh, trombones. Violins and basses are the same, just in reverse order from each other. Hmm. By reverse order, do you mean like the... Like the, the highest string is on the left on one and the right on the other? This game, man. Imagine making this game. Imagine spending hundreds of hours and assembling a team of dozens of people to make this game. You know what's even funnier than that? Imagine buying this game. Imagine spending money to deliberately put yourself through this experience. Who would do that? What a dork that, that person would be. Order of the strings. Right to left is E-A-D-G on violin, G-D-A-E on bass. So that does change how you tune. 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Lecture done. No, I I asked. I, I find that kind of stuff really interesting. Because I've, I've never played a string instrument. So there is much that I do not know. You know what I, I, I'm thinking about um, tuning and, and notes and keys, and I, I'm realizing that I probably, in, in this last video, since I talked so much about um, keys and chords, I probably should have at some point talked about the difference between a key and a chord, because like, for, for musicians, it's a, a, a clearer difference as night and day. But if you have never heard of music theory and somebody says, yeah, you're going to play F minor in C major, you're going to be real confused. Also, now that I think about it, that would be weird to play F minor in C major. But you get the point. What would that be? F minor, F, A flat, C. So that would be a flat sixth, but everything else normal? That would be weird. Weird or innovative? Uh, depends on whether people hate it or not, I guess. See, I'm actually deliberately um, falling down a lot in Red Crown Forest because if I make it to the Colossal Drain, uh, the soundtrack choice won't make sense anymore. Strategic. Maybe if you transposed the Shadow Lord song into a different key, you could potentially find out what that sounds like. Yeah, um, mm, maybe. But I don't think that particular like interval difference exists in Shadow Lord. Like having just a flat sixth, but everything else in a major key that I've never heard of that. That would be a very weird harmony choice. Usually if you're only going to flat one thing, it's the seventh or the third. What I do want to explore more, and if I wouldn't know my music theory skills left me long ago, <laughs> no worries. Uh, something I do want to explore in a future video, um, actually I'll probably get to in Scattered and Lost, there's a, a really good example of it, is um, that w the stuff we call music is actually like completely based on intervals, not notes, and that like, unless you have perfect pitch, there is no difference between A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The only difference is how they relate to one another in the piece. That's why I talk so much about degrees instead of note names. Because you can transpose to any key and all of the degree relationships will be exactly the same. I'll flat everything. <laughs> Isn't that just called changing keys to the same kind of key isn't that just called sharpening five times you know one aspect of music theory that I wish I understood better is double sharps and double flats I think I understand them conceptually, like that they're useful if you want to um, 
make sure that like a weird or theoretical scale has like a a, a different note for a b c d e f and g and the only way to do that is by using enharmonics but it just seems it, it seems like so much extra work for the player i'm not sure i get them Yeah, that's how I, um, when I sing, that's how I think about music. I just think about intervals because until somebody plays, I don't have perfect pitch. So until somebody plays a bell tone for me, I have no idea what a C is. So I don't care. I just care how it's different from the next note. F double sharp, you mean G natural? Sorry, I've got to throw it back at you once in a while. I don't think we'll end up talking about that on my channel, because as far as I understand, they're primarily used in jazz, and there's not a whole lot of jazz and video game music, unless we're talking about Persona 5, which we probably will at some point. Hey, I got you. It makes me sad that I got to the next screen pretty early in this play session, and I haven't gotten back there since. Persona 5 does have some fantastic tracks. I am sure they will end up as poll options sooner rather than later. Who knows if it'll be a video, though. I, I said on my Patreon, but I haven't actually said this anywhere on YouTube, uh, there will be times... I, my my main scheduling goal is to upload about once a month and uh the videos that i do upload once a month will be voted on by patreon uh patrons but if there's ever a time where i've got a bunch of free time and i've finished the video for the month already i might do another one with a topic i choose just for fun and it might, it might not always be video game music. Like, I've been thinking it would be fun to... I don't know if you guys uh, are familiar with VTubers at all, but I really like this uh, song sung by Hosho Marin. And I'm pretty sure, like, there's a 99% chance that the single was written by Toby Fox, the guy who created Undertale. And I would love to talk about it. It, it's funny, it it would, if I were to talk about it, it would be kind of a not safe for work video because it's a really horny song. And like the music video is almost softcore porn. The woman who sings it, Martin, um, she's like, I, I don't know how much she's playing. I, I think part of it is genuine, but she's definitely playing into it. She's got this like reputation of just being constantly horny. Uh, I didn't say what the song is called. It's called uh, I'm Your Treasure Box, and it's definitely not an innuendo for Vagina. Definitely not.
like you, you can raise your eyebrow if you want about why I'm obsessed with that video, but it really is mostly the music. It's very interestingly written. It has swung sixteenths sometimes and straight sixteenths other times. It goes into six eight when it has like more of a, her theme is that she's a pirate, so like when it gets piratey, it goes six eight. It uses the chromatic scale and the melody, and it sounds good. Ah, no judgment. I appreciate that. Most of the people I know uh, in real life are uh, involved in like not not necessarily involved in TV and film, but if not involved in it, then uh, very familiar with it. And so um, I don't usually meet a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, VTubers, I know what those are. And so many people still associate anime in general with uh, hentai and just like overly sexualized women, which is frankly warranted to some degree. But there's more to it than that, as you both know. No! Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hell yeah. Get me out of this goddamn hole. Come on. You serious? Ah. Oh. This is the second time I've ever gotten this far. Shit. This part kind of almost serves as a checkpoint because it's pretty hard to like fall back into the colossal drain from here. But once you get further up the tower, there's just like nothing under you on the left side and you can fall all the way back to the forest, which is what I did. Yeah, there's such a stigma about anime. I get that. I'm sorry that you feel that way at work. That's awful. It certainly doesn't help that like I don't I don't know what level you teach, but it certainly doesn't help that so much anime is like targeted at a high school audience and is therefore quite um, salacious among un, like underage characters. Not great. Not great. I feel like so much of loving anime is wishing it would change. <laughs> like even uh, Marin, the uh, hold on, the VTuber who uh, sang sings the song I was talking about, like her character is supposed to be seventeen. Like the whole video is just her seducing the camera. And like in real life, it, it's not a secret. In real life, she's our age. She's almost 30 or maybe 30 at this point. And she like keeps forgetting that her character is 17 and it's like, then just don't make the character 17. The model doesn't look 17. You're not 17. You're constantly talking about sex. Stop pretending to be 17. Like, I know it's not her decision. I know it's because she's part of Hollow Live, which is a much larger agency. So she doesn't have like full creative control of her character. But Jesus Christ, sorry to use the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, 
yeah, there's a lot to love in My Hero Academia. I'm not much of a battle shonen guy personally, but like I can respect when a show is good, and that show is good. Hi, Felisa. How are you doing? It's been a while. Welcome back. If I remember right, the last time I saw you was uh, the last uh, game footage capture. Uh, now, you may be thinking, this isn't Celeste. And that's where you're wrong. No, it's not Celeste. This is Jump King. Uh, I did Celeste for a few hours, got what I needed. Uh, Played around a little past that, and uh, then I switched over to Jump King. I probably won't be streaming too much longer, but right now we're just chilling and listening to Ori in the Blind Forest. This track actually is Climbing the Jinso Tree. This has appeared on my Patreon poll for future video topics a couple times, and I'm sure I will eventually make that video. Uh, this and the track that comes after it are both really good. Ah, I do remember right. Excellent, excellent. How have you been? It's been a while. Come on. I'm not making much progress right now, but at least I haven't fallen down. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Climbing the Jinso tree and the spirit tree are mwah. Indeed. As much as I love this track, the main reason I want to make a video about it is because of how it moves into the track that comes next. I think it just it ties the different themes together so well. I just want to, I just want to get to the top so I can see the the smoking hot babe. That's all I want. I'm a simple man. Like this is what I was talking about with cellos that I love. Like that gives such a tangible dark energy to this piece that wouldn't otherwise be there. Yeah, 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 that's the next track. It's very good. And I love how it climaxes with, like, both in the game and in the music. You think you're finally safe, and then Kuro's up there. Oh my god, what a reveal. Minor spoiler. All good. Won't be able to catch all your streams since it's 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Woo! Good morning. Sorry about that timing. Uh, but yeah, feel no pressure whatsoever. I'm happy you're here whenever you're able to make it. It's evening for me. I, I don't know. I, I might do some late night streams occasionally because I'm, I'm often awake late at night for for my time zone. Um, we'll see. Because I, I, I know that I do have um, a, a decent amount of uh, Eastern Hemisphere folks who check in. Special streams for me! Oh, I would be like so intimidated by that just like a private stream for one person that actually sounds terrifying <laughs> somehow it's so much less scary doing it for like a bunch of strangers than for one person oh 
Oh, here's the here's the part where you're running away from the water. Even sure what the right path is here. Oh, violins take me home. understood the prompt there. Ah, oh, chills, dude. Chills every time. Might even have teared up a little bit there. It is hard. Jump King is... That's kind of its claim to fame, because, like, as you can see, the, the gameplay is extremely simple. It's just moving side to side and jumping. But it's hard. Uh, as you can probably guess from the game design, uh, it's constantly auto-saving. So if you mess up, you face the consequences. I think probably the hardest part about it is that there's no sort of, like, power meter. You just, you jump further and higher if you hold the button longer, and you've just got to learn how to figure out how to feel when the right place is. And you can't change directions in midair or change speeds. Once you're off the ground, you're off the ground. Is there a track that just makes you want to cry from anything? Um, sure. Um, there's, uh, there's one in Celeste that does it for me, uh, but that's, um, that's partly because of what I know is happening in the story that goes alongside it. And, and that's probably true for most of the tracks that make me cry uh, reliably, is they're usually from some sort of story that also makes me cry. Getting a little late on my end, so I'm taking off. Thanks for the fun time. Best wishes, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Lily. Had a lot of, blah, 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 blah. Had a lot of fun hanging with you. Take care. Sleep well. Let's see. I'm certain that there are some pieces that just make me cry pretty much every time. Why can't I think of any right now? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they're out there. Oh, I promise you. Ooh, you know what? I just thought um, I'm going to switch the music. I found this on Spotify. Um, what am I looking for? Neo Tokyo. I found this on Spotify Discover years ago. Uh, apparently somebody made a Half-Life 2 mod called Neo Tokyo. And for whatever reason, they had an entire soundtrack for it. Uh, and it's really good so let me let me p play my favorite from that probably eventually do a video on this too this is called tachi it's by ed harrison
he had his sister do all the vocals, which is cool. going to be on these two screens for the rest of eternity. I love the chord progression so much. I haven't like transcribed it to figure out exactly what it is, but just the way it makes me feel is incredible. Yeah, I don't know if it's right to say it's if it's fan made, but yeah, it, it was just for a mod. I don't know if they if the modders hired him or if he just signed on, but yeah, this was made totally for free, totally distributed for free. He has made like consigned music for games since, uh, but this was like his first big project, I think. Really impressive. But yes, soon this room will be our only reality. Do you remember other people? Do you remember food? Sleep? I remember only this putrid pantry. Isn't it though? I couldn't believe it. He like, you can download the whole album as um, flack files from his website. This track is on my list of, of maybe one days for videos. I've noticed that I, I tend to like minor key stuff more than major key and I, I don't necessarily want that to be true because I want to be able to talk about a full range of music on my channel but god damn there's something about minor keys dude they just oh, they get to me I've also found that like it, it, it's true in pop music too like I love breakup songs I haven't been in a relationship in a very long time but I love breakup songs because they usually have like such such good minor chord progressions. I've been obsessed with a song called "Gone" by Blake. Who's it by? One second. Blake Rose, "Gone" G O N E. I'm not going to play it because I'll probably get copyrighted, uh, but yeah, recommend, recommend. And what's another one from this album that's pretty good? All of them. Let's do... This one. Oh, I just realized there's actually music coming from Jump King. Just a little bit of dark atmosphere. Mix as well. I gravitate to sad music. They just call to me so minor keys are often what's used. Yeah. I don't know what it is. 
I used to think it was because major keys lacked depth, uh, but that's not true at all. There are some really gorgeous pieces that are written in major keys. I think I just have that association because like all of the really boring folk music, like Mary Had a Little Lamb is all major. Jingle bells, that kind of thing. I've stagnated here for long enough that I, I think I'm going to end stream at the end of this track. Actually, no, if, if this is going to be the last one, let me do... This is the first one I heard from this album, and it's what made me want to listen to the rest of it, so I'll give it a little shout out. There's some pieces in major keys that go all over the place, so yeah, I guess it just depends. It certainly does. I mean, the... The video I made about Genshin Impact, I mean, that, that piece was Mixolydian, that's basically major. I've been a little confused about the terminology with, with modes. Because, like, since keys are only associated with major and minor, it's just, like, sometimes I'll see, for example, F mixolydian that's got two flats. So some people will describe it as B flat major, even though B flat isn't the tonic in F mixolydian. I, I don't know. I, I find the whole, the whole nomenclature pretty weird. I don't know why we can't just say that the key is F mixolydian. want to progress. No, 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 no. I can't be greedy. I can't be greedy. If I get greedy, I'm going to fall all the way back to the start. I, uh, no, I'm happy to stay here forever. We can hang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great. No problem. I like bricks and uh, rotten food. Very, very chic. Fuck me. I don't know, modes made little sense to me, honestly. They're very jazzy. There's a solo violin sonata in G minor, but is written with one flat, so it's technically a mode, yeah. Let's see, G minor usually has two flats, right? So that's Dorian. Dorian's pretty common in jazz, but uh, not so much in classical. Although I learned that uh, Scarborough Fair is Dorian, which is interesting, because I always thought that was a very minor sounding song but it has one too few flats. Oh man, no, oh god. and stream when I get out of that room. Okay, it's a deal. Whether I fall to my... I wish I fell to my death. You can't do that in this game. You just fall to your lack of progress. When I fall from or clear 
this little brick building. We will end stream. And if that doesn't happen for three hours, well, I guess I'll just have to be a little hungry. go who needs food when there are video games to beat you got this thank you I certainly hope so that worked out oh no ah. like take this for example I'm pretty sure this is major like we could look at it and maybe it's just using the relative key, but it sounds pretty goddamn major right now and it's still compelling and gorgeous. It might be minor though, honestly. It's hard to tell without looking at sheet music sometimes. Harmonies can be so misleading. Like, I was shocked when I was making the Shadow Lord video, I was shocked that the top of section B was not a major chord, that it's actually a, a sustained fourth. If anime was, has taught me anything, it's that if we believe hard enough, you'll be able to smash this level. Hell yeah. I just gotta believe in the heart of cards, you. That Don Seto Kaiba ain't got nothing on friendship. Okay, how the fuck do I- oh! I did it! Yay! No! Five points for the Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. I make Yu-Gi-Oh! references more than make sense. I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! since like season two. But it is still a big part of my life somehow. Uh, for a second, Fleesa, I thought you were I thought you were saying no to the Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Let me play DJ again really quick, since we are listening to a bit more. I'm just skipping around this album. It's been years since I listened to any of this music. Hey guys, this is my uncle. This is Uncle Chuck, sliding a box of banana pocky through the interwebs. Why banana? <laughs> Thank you for coming in. That's so cool of you. I don't even know how you knew I was streaming. I didn't post this anywhere to come to think of it. Uh, it is midnight for you, sir. How you doing? <laughs> because I have banana pock. <laughs> That's a very good reason. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Jump King, but it is a very hard indie game where you jump. I have no idea if you're a king or not. Yes, thank you for feeding me. Someone's got to. What do I have to do? Feed myself? I'm only 30. played a few billion hours of platforms in the ancient past. Yeah, this one's especially rough because you can't change direction or speed in midair. You're just locked into whatever parabola you set when you leave the ground. 
Oh man. Okay. Okay. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Uh, we, we have a deal. Um, when I get out of this room by either direction, up or down, uh, we're gonna call the stream because I've been going a while. We didn't have parabolas, we had to walk. I don't even know what that means, but I love it. Oh, and this isn't the music of the game. This is just something I'm playing on Spotify because I like it. Oh, goodness. I'm never getting out of here, am I? It is a bit prison-like, isn't it? Got some of you from California where they don't do that. Are you kidding? We walk in California. We have to. There's not enough parking. <laughs> we ride horses. In Texas, the open road is something you call dirt. We do. We walk to the car in California. It's true. came to my sister Edie came to one of my streams a couple weeks back so um, <laughs> this is not the first time I've had a surprise gorilla visit from family it's very unexpected and fun when I'm streaming I forget my personal life to a degree <laughs> I was on watching a playthrough of Steamworks for our next board game session and your stream show no kidding yeah, I haven't actually looked at the rules for Steamworks yet, because I know that if I do it too early, I'll just forget it. Uh, so I do anticipate I will read through the rules uh, shortly before whenever we end up doing that. True story. <laughs> so, oh my god, I have family! No, I don't forget that I have family and friends. I just forget that they are doing something while I am streaming. Like, the stream is my entire present tense. I lose all other awareness. I forget that it's like... I don't know. I, since so far I've done everything on YouTube by myself, I just forget that it's even a possibility that, like, family can be involved. <laughs> Object permanence is a thing. No, only only for, um, I think you have to get to a certain age before object permanence sets in. Uh, and I'm a toddler. So, I'm working on it. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. I just need to hit that block. Okay. Now what? Ah. Maybe this way? Nope. Oh no, do I have to go out in the rain? What if I fall? Please don't fall, please don't fall. No! 
Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Fuck me. Sorry, I, I curse on stream, Uncle Chuck. I'm sorry. Don't tell my dad. Just kidding. He doesn't care. It is unforgiving. But, I mean, like, that... I can't be mad at it because that's the whole reason I bought it. I was like, haha, won't it be funny when I'm so angry I lose my mind? <laughs> you don't even know those words. That's right, because I'm a toddler. No! Oh, goodness. I have a friend who's like, oh yeah, Jump King was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I'm like, how dare you talk about Jump King in the past tense? You beat this monstrosity? And it wasn't even like a major life crisis for you? That's not fair. Some people have all the luck. Like being born with motor skills. Some people just have it all. When he scrunches down, he looks like Penny flies from it. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh. Oh, now I do. Yeah, you're right. I see it. That's funny. You know, he kind of does. It's because the cape pops up with the, like, red floofy poof balls. <laughs> and you will never unsee it. gotten up onto that platform so many times you would have figured you would think that by now I would have figured out a consistent way of doing it but nay <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, this is this is the final level of Celeste. Uh, it just is Jump King. Now I I got the footage I needed to for the next video for Celeste. Uh, it went very well. And then we played around, did some other levels, played with some of the B sides, and then I was kind of out of things to do in the game that weren't spoilers. So I decided play a little Jump King. I didn't actually think I'd be playing it this long. We've been playing it almost as long as I was playing Celeste. Wait, no, that's not true. But it's been longer than I thought. Stream ends when I leave this brick building by either direction. That feels so clickbaity, like, stream ends when I die in Apex. 
No, we already listened to this one. You have to go. You have to go away. Let's see. What do I have? That's less brooding. You guys like the Final Fantasy 13 soundtrack? I am curious to hear your answers, but we're listening to it either way. When he leaves this brick building, whatever day that may be. Indeed. I was joking that cake play should have an end stream redeem, which just brings up a green input three not found good graphic. Uh, cake play is uh, a couple that we are friends with. Which Final Fantasy soundtrack? 13. Perhaps the most controversial Final Fantasy. I have strong opinions about it. They are not very strong, very common strong opinions, but they are there. Uh, I, I happen to really, really like Final Fantasy 13. Uh, but that said, I think all of the criticism against it is completely valid. <laughs> I think it absolutely has all the flaws that people sa say that it has. I like 13 soundtrack. I haven't played the game myself, but know everything about it. Um, gotten to the open world part of 13, and now I'm willing to throw it all away and restart it. Yeah, that's the thing is people, people who uh, don't like the linear quality of it say like it does open up later, and I'm like, yeah, but. Frankly, the open world is the least interesting aspect of 13. I love it for the music, the characters, and the first half of the story. They have an excellent premise, excellent themes, and they just kind of throw it all away. The main problem with the storytelling is that uh, they give you a lot of homework up front. They kind of give you all of the lore in data logs instead of slowly showing it to you through expositional dialogue. It's a mess. It's very bad storytelling, but it's a very good story. Again, at first. It's complicated. You enjoyed 13? I'm glad. I've, I've played the whole trilogy twice. <laughs> I really like the world of 13 a lot. They pulled a Destiny before Destiny. Uh, I don't know. Don't know enough, uh, enough about Destiny to say. I think 13 came out in 2010. I know it was toward the end of high school for me. Oh, finally. Okay, I need to remember, I have to remember that I have to remember to jump to that platform from here. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. Oh no. Oh, here, let me tell you. Uh, Pedro, this this track used to make, I, I don't know if it's right to say this, it used to make me cry. It didn't the first time I heard it, but after I had like played the whole game through and had my emotional attachments to the world and the characters, I put it down for years. And then when I came back, like, this is the first thing that plays when you start up the game. And I immediately was in tears from, like, the second note. Just from all the memories. I take it back. I, I said that I agree with all the criticism this game gets. I have seen somebody complain that it doesn't have memorable music. And I'm like, what are you on? Are you kidding me? I, there is not a soundtrack I like better than Final Fantasy XIII, uh, it, among Final Fantasy games. XIII has my favorite music. And I know that that's a sin because Nobu is a genius, and he is. But, I mean, part of it is just the technical limitations, man. The music you could put on a PS1 CD just isn't as good. Yeah, the main, that's the thing is, people were saying like, oh, it's such a forgettable battle theme. What about like One Winged Angel? And I'm just, I'm so confused. I just actually don't understand where that criticism is coming from. 
like are are you just mad because you're not already nostalgic for a song you just heard is that what's going on because it's plenty memorable it's iconic in my mind For a while, I actually, I was working on this project where I, I was trying to, because the storytelling is so bad, but the storytelling, but the story itself starts out really good, I actually, I wanted to turn this story into a novel and redo the ending completely. And I, I got a decent way into it, but then I realized, like, I'm changing so much of the source material that none of the fans will actually want to read it and I'm staying true enough to the source material that people who don't love the game will have no interest in reading it. So, who is this for? And I know that the right answer is, it can just be for you. But I do not have enough time in my life to just write a book that only I can read. <laughs> Writing? Ears poke up. Yeah, my Uncle Chuck's a writer. I think it was because it wasn't Imatsu's music people were upset. Yeah, and even though he didn't do 12 either, no one noticed. That's because no one noticed 12. No one ever talks about 12. And one day, I'd like to play it so I can find out why. I, th I feel like 12 might just not be very good because I just, I feel like if it was controversial, like 13, people would be like, it's the worst Final Fantasy ever. But since people aren't saying that, maybe it actually is the worst Final Fantasy ever. I don't know. I noticed 12. Excuse me, sir. It's the reason I had sideburns in high school. 12 is the one I played over 13. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, tell me what you guys think of the story. I, I, It's on my Steam wishlist, but I, it's low on my Steam wishlist because there's just so much else that I want to play. But I've always been curious what it's like. Just sold a low-key horror. No kidding! I'm really glad to hear that. Feel free to send it to me. I know this is like the fifth time I've said this this stream, but this is another track I want to make a video about. I'm Bash von Rosenberg! Wow, everybody has played 12 except me. A Jews in space short. No, it's okay, we're Jewish, he can say that. Star Wars in some ways. Yeah. Oh, plot-wise. Not what I thought you meant. Uh, but I like the voice acting direction as well. Oh, nice. And the soundtrack has some John Williams-esque quality. That's fantastic. I'll definitely check it out then. I thought you were saying it has some Star Wars qualities in terms of like Final Fantasy and Star Wars having similar fans, where it's like, it's not like the thing that already exists, so it's bad. What I think is funny is somebody pointed out that uh, since not all of the extended universe is canon and not all of it is checked, is like cross-checked, uh, a lot of it contradicts itself. Well, not itself, but like other works. And um, so it's literally impossible to make all any new content that is fully uh, in line with the extended universe. and fans don't care. They just pick their favorite parts of the extended universe and expect the series to conform. Well, that too. One of my sensitivity readers, oh, to, to make sure it wasn't too, I, I don't, I don't know, like, derogatory? 
The prince of the kingdom in 12, who dies before the game starts, so not spoilers, happened to be playing Iago in the local version of Othello back in high school. And when he came to visit my drama class, I happened to have... Okay, um... You, you should have... You should have said that you were talking about an actor. Because I spent most of that message being like, William Shakespeare exists in the world of Final Fantasy XII? No, the polygonal model made an appearance. That would be very anime if a Final Fantasy character just showed up at a high school. What the heck, man? Let me up. I just want to get on that block! Why is it- No! Okay, that's that's the end of the stream. That's the end of the stream. We're done. Done. Okay, thank you guys for coming to stream. I really had a good time. Uh, went for much longer than I expected to. Um, oh, I got an achievement. What's it for? Uh, it went away too fast. But thank you for coming to stream. I uh, got everything I needed to. Good night. Um, yeah, so I will probably be returning to Horizon Zero Dawn next week. So go ahead and come back for that at 5 o'clock. Pacific time uh, on Sunday if you'd like to hang. Uh, other than that, I will have other versions of the Shadow Lord track uploaded probably sometime tonight. Um, yes, very nice to see new faces here. You're so welcome for the stream. Pizza offer is still on the table. Wait, what pizza offer? I want pizza. We'll text. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. It means a lot. I had a lot of fun. Talk to you later. Bye.